Hi there, I'm Dr. Jessica Parker. I'm the owner of Dissertation by Design, and today I'm going to talk to you about paragraph structure. Many, many doctoral students struggle with the lit review, primarily because of the level of synthesis and critical analysis that is required, and the actual writing of the lit review, getting all of your thoughts and ideas on paper in a way that uses evidence to support the overall argument around the need for your study. I find using a paragraph structure template can be incredibly helpful during this process. And I love to use the meal plan paragraph structure. Now, I didn't come up with this. I've seen it used by several doctoral programs and I find that it's incredibly helpful for students, especially um, new and novice researchers. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. I'm gonna show you what the meal plan paragraph looks like in practice. So the meal plan paragraph, uh, the M stands for main idea. This is your topic sentence, sometimes a synthesis statement. The evidence, analysis of the evidence, that's your take on the literature, and then either a link back to the main idea or a lead to the next paragraph. Now, every paragraph in your lit review is not going to be written this way. This is really the paragraph structure for those body paragraphs and sections of literature where you're introducing empirical evidence, primary sources, and you're analyzing them. And in this example, each aspect of the meal plan is stacked on top of each other. The main idea is always going to be your first sentence. But sometimes the evidence and analysis are mixed together. It really just depends on what you're finding in the literature. Sometimes you'll see one sentence of evidence followed by one or two sentences of analysis. So if that were the case, this whole section that is green and orange would be mixed together. But to keep it simple, I kept them separate in this example. And the analysis, this is often the extremely challenging part. This is where you have to offer up your critical take, your analysis of the literature. In this case, your analysis of the evidence in that paragraph before you link back to the main idea or lead to the next paragraph. Now, I think it's important to also recognize that this is helpful for making sure that you are not covering more than one topic in a paragraph. That's something that I see pretty often with novice researchers, especially those who are writing a literature review for the first time. Because we tend to go down these rabbit holes in the literature, we can sometimes get sidetracked and we'll end up bringing in too many main ideas into one paragraph. So this really forces you to stick to one main idea, one topic per paragraph. I think it's important to just go ahead and give it a try. Try pulling together some articles, some evidence around the same main idea and just practice this paragraph structure. And remember, not every paragraph in your lit review will be written this way. You'll have introductory paragraphs, organizing statements, summary paragraphs, conclusions. You might have some descriptive paragraphs where you're kind of describing the evolution of your topic or the history. But whenever you start to bring in empirical evidence from primary sources, and you're analyzing them to make a point, to point out potentially methodological gaps, gaps in participants or a certain setting, gaps in theory. Um, this paragraph structure is helpful to do that. 